Okay, so induction here with sigma notation. As we do this, we have to make sure we always follow our four-step process. We'll refer to this here as P sub N. Okay, so step one, show P sub one is true. So that means my N value is one. So I'm going from R equals one to one. So I'm just gonna have the first term, which is one. 1 plus 1, which is equal to 1 over 2. The other side of the equation, the right-hand side, is 1 over 1 plus 1, which is a half. So it is true for P1. Second step is my assumption. Okay, I am going to assume pk is true. Okay, I must say that. I must tell my reader that I'm assuming it to be true. In sigma notation, what that means is I am going from r equal to 1 to k. And it's still 1 over r, r plus 1. And that is going to equal to k over k plus 1. This is my assumption step. I will use this to substitute. All right. And so now I must, third step. Oh. Third step says I must show true for pk plus 1, which means that this sum, r equals 1, the k plus 1 of 1 r r plus 1 equals k plus 1 over k plus 1 plus 1, which I know is k plus 1 over k plus 2. That's my task. I do not know if this is true. Do not say it is true. That is my whole purpose. Okay, that's my goal. I want to find out if it's true or not. Don't you know the second equal sign is true? Oh. It is true. I should make sure that I'm accurate. <laughs> and I will go here and the second equal sign is true. I'm, I'm going to put it in red so that I know that it's true. <laughs> okay, so in doing this, we have to use our assumption. Well, to go through the gory details, this summation here, Oh, I want to go back to a different color. This summation here, if I go k plus 1 of this, that means I could also do the summation of r equal to 1 to k of this. But that means I must add my k plus 1 term. And my k plus 1 term will be 1 k plus 1, and then this is going to be k plus 1 plus 1, which is k plus 2. So this here is the summation of all the way to k plus 1. This part here is my assumption. This is what I'm going to substitute right here, my assumption. Substitute. Okay, so by my assumption, I can substitute that in, and I can say that this is going to be k over k plus 1. My k plus 1 term is this. And now I have to get some algebra working here. I'm going to get myself a common denominator by making this k plus 2 over k plus 2. And so it is k squared plus 2k. And I'm going to plus 1. We'll add it together. And my common denominator is k plus 1 and k plus 2. All right. Noticing that I know this is my objective. If I notice the top, that factors conveniently to k plus 1 squared over k 
plus 1, k plus 2. I can then go and do a little bit of cancelling. That square goes away with that. And so I get a single k plus 1 over k plus 2. So I've shown it I've shown it's true. So writing my statement at the end, I can say something like, well, since PK is true, we've shown PK plus one is also true. Hence, by I love saying the power of mathematical induction. The power of mathematical induction and P1 being true, being true, Pn, Pn is true for all, what was, for all positive integers true for, for all n belonging to z positive